This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoToMyPC. Hey, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. Today's topic is Facebook's continuing efforts to consume every aspect of your life, including your beloved apps. But first, some viewer feedback on last week's segment on cycling apps. Abadi95 writes that Jippus is the best app for tracking sports out there. It has an outstanding design as well. This app is free and available for both Android and iOS. And as for cycling in particular, Dartleg13 recommends Strava. Strava is an app that aims to help you get competitive with your workouts if that's what gets you going. So there you go, even more options for those of us trying to get a little more creative with our workouts. Moving on, now, over the years, various services have tried to incorporate facial recognition into their products and have often been met with the dreaded C word, creepy. But creepy or not, facial recognition just might be here to stay. This week, a first version of Click, K-L-I-K, appeared in the App Store. Click is basically a photo sharing app that recognizes your friends automatically, who you can then tag. Of course, since the info is sourced from Facebook, you do need to have a Facebook account to use it. Now, I personally don't find it to be all that creepy, but the accuracy, on the other hand, is a little bit iffy. Here's a picture I took of myself, a pretty straight up, straightforward self shot. And the tag suggestions it gave me were, yes, myself first, very good. And down at the bottom, my friend Whitney, who granted we do kind of look alike, but also a bunch of friends who I share no physical traits with other than being female, so at least they got that right. I also tested it on our very own Jackie Talbot, who was recognized as, interestingly, Bella of Unboxing Porn. Both beautiful ladies, of course, but I wouldn't call them super twins, necessarily. But hey, accuracy problems aside, the website does look pretty nice, so I wouldn't be too surprised if this one got some traction. Because after all, today's creepy is tomorrow's next big thing. Next up, Facebook announces an app center, but first, let's thank our sponsor, GoToMyPC. So, you're on your way home after work, you check your iPhone and see an urgent request that needs immediate attention. Don't hassle with going back to the office to log onto your computer. There's a much better way. Use Citrix's new GoToMyPC app for iPhone. It's like having your work computer right in your pocket. Take care of last minute requests from anywhere. With the GoToMyPC app for iPhone, you can edit PowerPoints, update spreadsheets, work on any file right from your phone. You can also log onto your Mac or PC with the GoToMyPC app for iPad as well. The GoToMyPC mobile apps are awesome. It's so good knowing that you have access to any files on your work computer so you don't have that nightmare scenario of having to rush back to work to send an email or anything like that. Try GoToMyPC today with a special 30-day free trial just for our viewers. Visit GoToMyPC.com and click on the Try It Free button and enter the promo code APP. Then download the free app to your iPad or iPhone. That's gotomypc.com, try it free with the promo code APP. So this week, Facebook officially threw its hat into the app curation ring. For a few months, it's been rumored that Facebook is planning a web-based alternative to the iTunes App Store and Google Play that uses Facebook's social framework to push apps, which of course will be personalized based on your Facebook activity, but it will also push out to the appropriate stores if and when you decide to make a purchase. Now, maybe I'm a little bit biased, granted, but to me this kind of feels like just another spammy Facebook product that I'm probably never going to use. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to get my social app recommendations from well, app judgment or crosswalk. But what do you guys think? Is this something that you would use or what is your current preferred method of learning about cool new apps besides app judgment? Because frankly, Facebook, you know what? This is our territory. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. You guys might have infinity million dollars and 700 billion users, but uh, guess what? I have a clout score of uh, 47 and I'm not afraid to use it. And on that note, that's all we got for today. But as always, you can find the show on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, on YouTube, and on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. And you can find me on Twitter as well, at Annie Gauss. See you next time.